Bianca's Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a pick a card on your future husband. Um, I haven't done a pick a card like this in some time, so I'm excited to do another love reading. Um, we have two piles today. We have this deck for pile one and this deck for pile two. Use your intuition to pick which deck you feel drawn to. We also are going to follow the reading along with some oracle messages, you know, some specific things you can know about your person and then we'll start so yeah use your intuition and i will see you guys okay pile one let's see who your future husband is later on like i mentioned before i will be breaking down the oracle messages just for like you know more information on the dynamic of the relationship so pile one damn it something just fell i won't pick it up now though all right, pile one, please reveal to me who is pile one's future husband. Who is this person? Oh, we have the Hierophant. They could be a teacher. Oh, they love books. They love reading. They could have a whole stack of books or... Um, I'm also hearing they love vinyl records. <laughs> That's really specific. Um... They love books, they love reading. Like, I think this a person is major book nerd. Um, yeah, they really love teaching and reading. Like, I feel that's like a huge thing. Even if they're not literally a teacher, I feel like this person has a lot to say. Like, they have a lot of knowledge. Uh, we have Five of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. I feel like the reason why this person reads a lot is because I don't know if they read self-help books or reading was like a, an escape as well for them growing up. But I feel like this person, um, they could feel very unlucky. I, I don't know why I have that. They could feel like, um, there's a movie with Lindsay Lohan. I think it's called Just My Luck. And her love interest in the movie is reminding me of this spread. Like, I feel like, um, this, this guy, he, um... He's had a lot of things to learn in this lifetime, okay? Um, let us let me break it down. So with the Hero font, yeah, we have the Four of Swords. I feel like this person feels really comfortable in the element of um, giving back to others, you know, being um, a wise person for others. I feel like even in their relationships or the person that somebody goes to for a lot of advice, I think they could have built a good reputation for themselves for um, their their they're book smart but also like really smart about life as well they, they have a good balance to that okay um with the five of pentacles yeah your future husband has definitely struggled a lot when it comes to poverty and um or just maybe not having that much in life i don't think this person grew up rich or anything like that i feel like they've struggled they could have been on like welfare at one point in their life i just feel like they didn't grow up in the best area or they had the best circumstances i think it's something that has haunted them and that's going to be a very specific thing that they might even mention to you okay i think this person is very humble for the things they have too i think they know what it's like to lack they know what it's like to struggle they're very giving because they know what it's like to not have someone okay so they, this person has struggled um a lot financially i don't think when they meet you they're struggling it feels like they've actually built up some sort of thing for themselves i feel like they're definitely in like a boss type of mode when they meet you i feel like i don't know what the hero it gives like someone who's been in that career for a long time so um it feels like a teacher or a leader of some sort i don't feel like they're they feel like the head of something like the wise person in, in some area whatever area they're in but yeah this person um has definitely had some struggles with um just not having a lot of material things okay or just like the basic essential needs um they could be like an atheist or they were an atheist at one point in their life i don't know why i heard just heard that I don't know if they're actually one when they meet you or they had that belief um, at some point. Um, Nine of Swords. Four. Yeah, this person's fear, this biggest fear is lack of material resources. I feel like they fear that like 
crazy. I feel like it's like almost like a OCD thing or PTSD, like running out of money or like their huge fear is loss of material gain. Um, Six of Pentacles, they could actually work for charities or for the homeless because they've also had some sort of testimony in that. I feel like this person really wants to give back to people who have been in certain circumstances like that um but i also feel like it's a fear with them as well like i feel like this person um they could just have a lot of fear when it comes to not having enough in that in that way okay it could also be something embarrassing for them like i feel like they never want to be the broke guy they never want to be someone struggling like that's like a an embarrassment to them uh, let me get more information about this guy who is their future husband? I feel like he has longer hair than most. I don't feel like his hair is short. It feels like it's long. Um, he could have a distinct birthmark. He could also really love animals as well. Um, he's a very loving person. See how this person, this King of Cups, has, like, long hair here? I feel like their hair is long for some reason. And I feel like this person with the Nine of Wands, they they know what it's like to kind of have life just beat you down, you know? Have life beat you down. They have a strong spirit to them. This is a very strong-willed person, okay? This is not someone who, had, who was spoon-fed. Yeah, eight of pentacles they could be um they could have gone to school for art or they could have gone to school to learn how to make things from hand um there's, there's they're definitely educated i think this person has like a bachelor's or a master's even more than that i feel like this person could have been um very athletic in school they could have an athletic body as well can I get more physical things as well, Spirit? I'm going to just try to channel this. I keep getting something about, like, they have a great body. I feel like this person has a great body. Um, they could have, like, a swimmer body. Like, an athletic, very lean swimmer. Seven of Cups. They have, like, a dreamy aura to them. I feel like this guy is very attractive but uh, he's also has like a very unique i don't know i don't want to say like a hipster look but there's something about that like i'm i'm feeling that okay yeah at the base we have the devil i do feel like their their only flaw is they're a little bit too attached to like what money is i understand we all need money like we all it's it's just the reality of life but i think they're a little bit too like scared of it in a sense or like something with money in the 3d like it's a bit kind of like hard for them to talk about because this person really um went through they could have even had people make fun of them for not having like the latest like the best clothes in school i don't know i just feel like there's some sort of story with that so let's get some more information about your future husband and of course like the dynamic of that relationship Ooh, what did I say before? Courage, strength. This person has so much strength to them. This person is a very strong person. Um, silence, no contact. Faded meeting, important connection. Why silence, no contact here? I don't think they speak to their family. I feel like there's some sort of issue with the family. Um, they could have gone no contact with their whole family or a certain family member, unfortunately. I don't know what the story is there, but I feel like there's um, some struggle there for them when, when it comes to family. I really feel like there's a family member, hopefully not the entire family, but there's a family member that they just don't talk to. Like, I don't know what the story is with that, but it seems deep, okay? Um, this is a really faded meeting. You can meet this person outdoors when you're doing something fun. It's going to feel like fate when you guys meet. It's going to feel like, oh my god. Let me see if I can get any more information about you and him. Uh, unresolved situation. 
I feel like from the time you guys meet, you're gonna just be pulled towards each other, you know? Um, you guys could, could connect through music as well. There's something special about music in this connection. You know what I just saw? I feel like this person might even make a song for you. I know that sounds so corny, but I feel like this person might dedicate a song to you or make a song to you. I feel like something when you guys get married, the music choice is going to be very significant and it's going to be really beautiful. Um, okay. So your future husband, let's get some more Oracle cards. Who is your future husband? Um, well, actually, what's the dynamic going to be? Because I feel like, this, yeah, this deck is more about the dynamic anyway. So what's the dynamic going to be between them and their future husband? You guys could meet on holiday, I feel, or there's something special about holidays with you um, and this person. Uh, proposal. They could propose to you on holiday. Oh my god, that's so cute. I feel like they might propose. I don't know why 4th of July keeps popping up in my head. There's something special about 4th of July. Divine timing. Yeah, this is going to happen in a very divine timing for both of you guys. Like, it's going to be perfect timing. And I feel like um, the proposal is going to be very romantic. And it could be um, around... I don't know why I picture 4th of July. I don't know. It's, a, it's It feels so, like something connected to that. We have let go of the past. I feel like both of you will be letting go of the past by the time you guys meet. I don't think you guys meet with, like, baggage. I really don't. Um... All right, let's get the final spread for the dynamic between you and your future husband. Who is your future husband, Helen? So we have retreat. It's time. There's something about holidays with you and this person. I don't know if you're going to have like a tradition with in, in the marriage about holidays or something significant with the proposal or the wedding is happening on some sort of holiday. I do feel like there's some sort of thing with a retreat with you guys, too. Like, like vacation. Um, very soon. This person you could be meeting very soon. If you haven't already met them. Oh my god, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This person's gonna really value marriage and committing to you. Like, I don't think they're gonna play any games. Like, your husband is... Your future husband is someone who really values what that means not it's not just a piece of paper and they're gonna really treat you amazingly express your love yeah this is a really beautiful connection amazing very beautiful life partner connection so that is your reading pile one let me know what you think about this in the comments please like this video and i'll see you guys in my next reading bye goodness pile two sorry i have to drink my water real quick pile one's reading was so beautiful so Let's get into pile two's reading. Who is your future husband, pile two? Tell me about their future husband. So we have eight of swords. Seven of wands. And ten of wands. So we have a lot of fire, air energy. Um, it could be an air sign or a fire sign. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Six of Cups. Um, I do feel like this guy has a lot of self-esteem issues. Um, I don't think he's very confident in himself. Uh, I think he just struggles with, you know, just feeling good about his looks or something like that and i'm getting a lot of self-esteem problems why six of cups here um i feel like he could have had like i feel like this guy had a very um unhealthy relationship with his mother growing up i feel like his mother um didn't set the best example for him sometimes and i feel like there were some things said i feel like she was a little bit cold i don't know i feel like there's something with his childhood and some certain things with his self-esteem that kind of like manifested into the person he is when he meets you it doesn't mean he's a bad guy you know everybody's human everybody has their 
um, things they need to work out and that's his you know I, I just don't feel like he's the most confident person um, I think he struggles with feeling good about himself okay um, and I do feel like there's some deep issues from childhood connected to his mother that could be the reason why um, he might not even be aware of it maybe he is seven of pentacles I just feel like he never felt like good enough for like a mother figure in his life maybe a grandmother figure I don't know but it feels like there was some some pain there in the heart chakra right um seven of wands so this person your your future husband he's not gonna come off like the most confident guy i i feel like you're gonna sense this guy is a bit insecure um and just because he's insecure doesn't mean he's like a bad person you know everybody has their insecurities um but i just feel like he just might appear a little bit in, more insecure than most okay um we have the Seven of Wands, and we have the King of Swords. I feel, I just heard the word determined. This person is really determined. Like, I think they are a successful businessman. I don't think they work for people. I feel like this person is their own boss. I really don't feel like this person, um, he doesn't like to have I feel like this person really doesn't like the nine to five life. Like I, I keep getting that. I feel like they're their own boss. Um, they run their own company or they're, they more have, their career feels more free than most. I, I feel like he has his own company and he, he is very successful in it. Actually. I feel like this guy, um, I think he even had people doubt him too, like that he wouldn't be successful or something, but he actually kind of broke a mold in his lane like for, i don't know what he's doing specifically but it feels like he's doing something that most people wish they could have like he he is living like a great life when it comes to his freedom like i feel like this person yeah i feel like people doubted him they were like you can't do that you want to you, you think you're gonna quit your job and start you know i think they doubted him but he he's actually like really determined to um it's funny because like even though he's so insecure deep down he's also super confident when it comes to like creating the life that he wants for himself so it's interesting that he kind of has that like dynamic this person could travel a lot for work or they love traveling um i think they've been to a lot of different places i feel like their their career and allows them to travel they could be a real estate agent i'm hearing as well and they could own a lot of properties okay um i have a lot of air popping out so this person could have a strong air placement so gemini libra aquarius i think they are an intellectual deep down i think their intellect has helped them create like a huge income for themselves and a, and a freedom type of lifestyle um Yeah, they've moved around a lot. They've moved around a lot. They've moved around. And I feel like they are really professional. Like this person is a lot a lot of people could learn from this. I feel like he really doesn't like the I think he learned about himself through this experience of becoming like an entrepreneurial type of person, you know. So he has a very inspiring outlook on life when it comes to like not letting other people doubt you when it comes to like your dreams so i do feel like this person really is should be proud of himself i don't know i, I get this like strong determined energy to him um he could be hispanic or just appear hispanic maybe dominican um ten of wands Oh my god, this person's such a hard worker. Like, with the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Wands, this person doesn't care, like, if it's... Like, I think this person has worked crazy hours. I feel like they have so much to them when it comes to ambition. Like, they know how to just push through, you know? And, and I have to give it to them, because I feel like this person works really hard. This person has a strong work ethic. Like, not that they're... Uh, uh, a workaholic but i feel like they really put their heart into their work like i feel like this person is really really um in their purpose when they meet you you know 
yeah eight of wands again ace of cups oh my goodness this this person has this uh this zest for life and 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 you know experiencing experiencing life to the best way he can um he could like hiking he could run as well the sun there could be a lot of fire and air in his chart to be honest i have leo here now yeah this person really um they could have made a big move for their career too they could have moved for their career and they could have just taken a huge leap of faith that worked out for them and i think that's going to be really attractive to you to be honest i feel like this person really is a light in a sense of like they they know how to just make it you know they just know how to make it um let me see if I could get a couple more things about him in terms of like how he looks and stuff like that. More specifics. Who is this guy? So I have seven of pentacles. They could have really broad shoulders. Queen of cups. Two of cups. They're a sweetheart, really. Like, I feel like this person is so sweet. Like, when you meet them, they're going to be really kind and caring. And it's something that is very true to their personality. Like, I, I feel a lot of... Um, they could have, like, a Pisces placement. Pisces, excuse me. Pisces placement as well. Um, they could be the same height as you. I don't feel like they're super short. They're not super tall. They could be, like, a medium height. Um, I mean, if you're tall, then I guess they're tall as well, right? But they could... Whatever height you are, I think they'll be, is basically what I'm saying. Maybe, like, an inch or two taller. Um, it feels like an interracial relationship for some reason. So I feel like this person comes from a really different background or culture than you. All right. This person could also love the color black, is what I'm hearing. So, um, yeah, let's get into some oracle messages about the dynamic with your future husband. Um, what is it going to be like, especially with hints of how you guys are meeting and things like that. So, power to your future husband. So, we have crossroads, direction, uh, passion breakup I don't feel connected to the breakup card hold on okay grave no second chances all right so crossroads why is crossroads here mass not showing true self I feel like this person is going to be at a crossroads when they meet you, so they could feel like they don't know what to do in terms of what they, how they want to move in their life. I don't think they're like a fake person or anything, but I don't like, I don't think this person likes to come off like they don't know where they're going in life. I feel like they always need some sort of, um, sorry guys, there was some noise in that, that appeared in the background, but I feel like this person always likes to come off like not like everything's perfect but that they know where they're going so i feel like they might um not necessarily lie but i feel like they don't want them to admit to you that they don't know what to do in their life like i feel like they might even think about moving or something when you guys meet because they're just kind of figuring things out um This is really weird. I don't want to make this a whole like third party story, but I do feel like when you guys meet, there could be another person. I don't know if you have someone you're interested in as well, or they have someone interested, but there could be a chance of like something like that. Like when, maybe when you guys meet, it's not like, um, maybe you happen to meet by chance or something and it's not like you guys are looking for that at the time. Um, they could be like in the crossroads of leaving another relationship when they meet you to be honest because i feel like um it's a little bit awkward when you meet because i feel like they they could be with someone when you guys meet i know that's like random but yeah grave no second chances i 
I hate to say it, but I, I feel like this person could be, because I don't, I don't think it's going to be like a toxic dynamic with you and this future husband of yours, but I'm just getting something like Spirit is showing me when you guys meet. I don't think this, you and this person are going to instantly get together or it's like an obvious thing of like, this is your future husband, because I feel like either, it feels more him, I feel like he's going to be, um, undecided about another person i don't think he's a fuck boy or anything like that but i just feel like you guys might meet in like really awkward timing um let's see okay all right how to who is their future spouse bonding so this you and your not future spouse your future husband right you and your future husband are gonna have a strong like emotional bond there's a lot of things you guys have in common as well yeah the feel it's gonna be a really intense relationship i feel like the feelings are gonna be super genuine file two's future husband divine timing it, it will happen at a, a really good time um I feel like when you guys get together, there's going to be a, a lot of feelings that developed over time between you. I don't know if it's going to be like a When Harry Met Sally type of situation, if you guys don't know that movie, but it, it, it is kind of reminding me of that. Unexpected connection. I don't think you, you and this person... What did I just say? Unexpected connection, third party. I don't feel like when you and this person meet, it's like sparks flying or anything like that like you you and your future husband it's going to bond over time and it's not going to be like very obvious in terms of like it's just not like a love at first sight type of story and i think you and this person are opposites like you have different i i feel it feels like an interracial relationship almost where especially with culture wise i feel like they come from a completely different culture than you like yeah but the, the feelings are going to be really intense and they're gonna grow over time and and it's gonna be very um um it's gonna be a very funny love story i feel like um okay can i get the final messages about pile two's future husband it is safe for you to love so this person i don't know if some of you personally struggle with like trusting i mean I'm a Scorpio moon, so I completely relate to that huge, like, major. But this person is going to be someone that you can safely love. Like, this person is really someone you can genuinely trust. Um, healing family issues. I do feel like this person will be healing some sort of family issue or um, reconnecting with family when you guys meet or when the relationship happens uh yeah you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully i feel like you guys have already like you're really manifesting this person in um even if you haven't met them yet like i feel like it's gonna come in like very unexpectedly and we have the free yourself card it's time to make time to take back control of your life you're gonna meet this person in a very free time in your life you know um and the connection's gonna be very freeing for you okay so yeah your future husband like i really like this um, um piles uh what you guys got for him it's really interesting so make sure to like this video make sure to comment if you'd enjoyed it as well and i will see you guys in my future videos bye